Hey, what's up, y'all? While I'm doing this DVD, this short little, this short little piece, I should say, on um, Venice Beach and the African American artists and the racism and everything we're facing, I wanted to show you something. The city left this poll here just last night. Kwanzaa fell over this and totally cut her leg. If somebody was to trip over this, they would kill themselves. This would go straight through them. But the city, being negligent, has left this here. What is this here for? If anybody falls, if somebody's riding their skateboard and they trip and they land on this, they're dead. They are dead. That's going straight through them, nonstop. Let me show you something else that has become a health hazard out here. Let's talk about these garbage cans and the filth and the dogs peeing on the garbage cans all day and us having to smell them because they've replaced, they put a garbage can almost every five feet on Venice Beach, every five to 10 feet. And the artists have to smell this shit. And then people come over here and they eat in the grass after these people come and let their dogs piss and shit all over the grasses all day. Excuse my French. I didn't want to cuss, but there's a garbage can. Come here, let me show you. Not only is it has it become an environmental hazard for us, it is just plain disgusting what they are doing. There's filth all up under the can that they never clean. There's no way for them to clean. We were promised they would be steam cleaned twice a week when they first put them here. Yes, we, we were promised they would be steam clean. They haven't done it once. Come here, let me show you the top of the garbage. This corrode and crud around the top of the garbage can. It's what we're breathing every day on a daily basis. We have to breathe this in just to be able to work out here. And like I was telling you a minute ago about the African-American artists, we are the only artists, the African-American artists. We are the only ones who have to get up at three or four o'clock in the morning to secure ourselves a space. We don't get any sleep. Other, other groups, they have five and 10 and 15 spaces. They bring their families to this quote unquote thing called the lottery. And, and get spaces, they um, they have their their little quote unquote mafias and gangs and and cliques, you know. And they have they have people coming and and and, and coming for them, and it's really a trip. We work very hard not to be disfranchised, but we are getting disfranchised from the Venice Beach Boardwalk. It's been rough on me. I haven't put a video up yet about it. But I had to do this one because, I mean, it's like wearing on my nerves, the police harassment, and now getting harassed by other vendors out of jealousy and all of this other stuff. It's just really wearing on me. And that's why making this video and going to Maxine or going to the state or doing whatever I have to do to leave me at this problem is what I am going to do. Me and of course, Kwanzaa, who I talked about earlier, the sister, more like the Harriet Tubman of Venice Beach. Been out here 10 years dealing with this shit. 10 years! Can you imagine that? I can't. Can we swing around to the beautiful green grass? This beautiful green grass is toxic. <laughs> toxic. Full of dog doo doo, feces, urine. There are over 70 diseases that spread from dog feces and urine to humans. The kids come and play in it, roll in it. People eat their food in it. What's the point in having it toxic for people to sit on and eat in? Something needs to be done. Disease is being spread. It needs to be cut out. As you can see, being an African American artist on Venice Beach, isn't all it's cracked up to be. A lot of people come, they see a few of us, they walk by like, you know, oh, a couple black artists, oh well. They don't know what we go through to even be here.
to represent with what we represent with. So if you see us on Venice Beach, please support us. Even if it's just walking up to our booth and giving us a kind word and say, keep on doing what you're doing. If you don't, you don't have the money to buy anything, that's fine. Come up and give us support, give us love. If we are out here fighting, not only for us, but for all African Americans who are being disfranchised on Venice Beach in several different ways. They're trying to cut us and our art out of Venice Beach. And you know, if we don't stand up, then all the black artists out here will be gone. And then people will really see something. Once again, Tony B, Black CNN, I'm on the front line. I got y'all. Peace.